Hello and welcome back to the next installment of our Survivor Let's Play on No Man's Land. We carry on straight from the last episode, um, same in-game day or month, however you want to look at it. And I believe when we finished the, finished the last one, we spoke about just how much we've got left to do um, before sort of today's out really. Uh, so we're going to crack on with that. Yep, front weight's on. The first thing is, we're going to get this field um, fertilised. And field number four as well. Although, we haven't got much fat. I thought we had more than that. We might have to go and get some. When I say we might have to go and get some, we really are going to have to go and get some, aren't we? Although, I mean, that's covering pretty much all of it, isn't it? Hey, that wasn't too bad, that. Take all them off. It's just a tiny little strip at the bottom. The other sort of big job we need to do is harvest them two fields as well. I'd rather have that done today so we can get them turned around and I need barley on one of them. Obviously the barley to um to be able to feed our chickens, of which we're gonna have considerable soon. It's only gonna be a few months and that pen's gonna be Absolutely rammed. Right. So we're getting most of that done. And again, it'll just be a strip down one side by the looks of it. I've got real crap ties on. I thought I was just about to, uh, just about to destroy loads of our crop there. Not that would have made a difference. Like it's got. It's in the worst possible condition it could be. Right, where are we at? Ah, still that bit, the strip at the bottom. I'll do this. Right, I'm happy with that. I don't mind that strip up the middle. I'm not going to waste fertiliser just for that tiny little bit. We'll get this put back. In fact, we might need to find a new home for it, might we? We're getting to the point now where, really, we need another shed. Oh, the other thing I want to do as well is I want to plant. That doesn't need to be there, like, because we've got all them. But I still wouldn't mind. Right. We will get to the. I'll get the harvester out and we'll start on field number two. Two sex. Right, we're going to start on field two. This is an oat field. We have no lime, no fertilising, 100% weeds. So, we ain't getting much.
Are we... No, we're not. Any other straw. We're not going to get much of the crop, so... We may as well get our money's worth and... Get the bales from it. Although there's not much coming off, is there? I watched, um, it was a few days ago, there was a video by Mr. Sealy P. He did about, I can't remember what the, I can't remember what the title of the video was, but it was all around the um, straw and how the yield affects the straw. And I'm sure the conclusion at the end was, the better the yield, the better the amount of straw that you'll get which I mean looking at this we're hardly this field can't be any worse it's got everything wrong with it um, and we're not getting much straw at all are we so there's defo or something in that I think you proved it at the end anyway with um, against fields that were fully fertilised and then ones that weren't but it was quite an interesting, uh, quite an interesting video. Also, just as we pass in, I need to shout out um, Andy Dickinson. I didn't know that a few of these trees were on our land. I thought we'd um, ploughed pretty much up to the the edge. So what Andy's saying was, there's about three grand's worth of um, timber there. I'm not sure what economy there might not be three grand for us with us being on hard mode um, hard economy but regardless there is free money just sat there so that needs to be a consideration for us I mean as you'll see as you'll have seen in the it was the last video wasn't it where we chop down them two oak trees there's an absolute fortune um, over there we were getting just under seven grand per tree and that was the way we were doing it I'm sure if and the, here's the second one actually um, a second shout out I've just had this morning a, a message from Feldham and he's basically he's echoing what we were saying similar in the in the last video where if we have a front loader it just opens up so much more so if we do get a, a front loader and we're able to get a log grab um, we'll be able, be able to start selling sort of longer lengths which at the minute it's going to be quite difficult just by the nature of our setup and the lack of equipment However, it's definitely something we start working, working towards. Because, I mean, if we're chopping the tree up, and it's fully chopped up as well, it's not even just like they were in small lengths, it was chopped up. Um, and we're still getting seven grand for it. Then what are we going to get for, for instance, if that whole piece, if the whole middle sort of trunk is left free? then what are we going to get for that? It's going to be a lot more than um, what we've been making, isn't it? I've been meaning to put um, Feldon's link in the description. I just keep forgetting. And just being an absolute technophobe as well trying to do it will probably <laughs> probably won't work but I will try so anyone who hasn't sort of checked out his videos um, and I've mentioned them it was quite a while ago um, but he does a really really good series on Attingham Park so go and give that a watch um, I highly recommend it this he, he does um, 
there's a couple of series that he does on Polish maps as well on FS19. The issue is, I can just never get into a Polish map, and I don't know why. I think the very um, subject is probably the wrong word. Uh, unique. And um, when I tried to play them on FS19, I just couldn't get. For the life of us, I could not get a game going. And you know how I like to play as well. I like to play. You start with very little, sometimes nothing. Um, small scale farming to start with. Love all that. Especially in 19, where you've got a load of mobs, uh, mobs, <laughs> a load of mods to be able to support that type of player. And you would think the Polish maps are ideal for that, and they should be, but I've just never been able to get away with them. I'm hoping, I'm going to try, when we get um, some Polish maps come out on 22, then I might sort of make myself do a series on one of them. Just to be able to appreciate them a bit more, I think. I am looking forward to another map coming out. Not that I'm sort of. I mean, this one, No Man's Land, is going to go on for a long time. There's no, this one's not going anywhere. Elm Creek, I'm really enjoying playing on that one. Um, however, there's a lot around Elm Creek out, isn't there? Elm Creek's moving into a bit, bit of a different um, sort of vibe now. I'm sort of when I'm recording it, I'm getting through it a lot faster. I'm not showing absolutely everything. Uh, there's things I might sort of refer to if we've done a contract. I might not show any other contract. I'll just show us sort of um, completing the contract. Just things like that. Just to try to progress. Now I've got this map. Now I've got No Man's Land. Um, and what are we? What are we? Twenty. How many episodes are we through this now? Can't even remember what this is. Um. So this will be something like episode twenty-two. Might even be twenty-three. Uh. I know last night. Episode twenty went out last night. So. It'll be 22 or 23 this episode. Um, yeah, now I've got this series to be able to play the way I like. Then the next one we do, I don't think we'll have any restrictions on it. It'll just be... I might even... I'd have to think about because I never play this way. I might even put it on Easy Economy and work through it that way just so we can start getting towards that sort of bigger machinery. But we'll see. Oh, the thing I didn't mention before we started. Um, you'll have seen that the our money went down. The reason for that is I took the combine up. It was the combine was pretty much empty. I took it up to the store to fill fill it, and it was five hundred and eighty-five euros. So that's where our money went. I mean, we're not getting much off here at all, are we? Um, we didn't expect it. Um, we sort of... Are we not quite halfway yet? No, I mean, we're not far off halfway, are we? And we've only got 1,700 litres. But with them oak trees being there now... I'm not. In, I'm not even in a hurry to sell this. I could do the same as what I did um, last year and just store it, sell it when the price is at its highest. I feel now, and I think I spoke about this a little bit in the last video that now we've got them oak trees and. We're starting to get the benefit from that, and the fact that we had that sell-off from the crops, and we've got a bit more machinery. We've got the um, we've got the more suitable cedar. We've got our weeder. Um, 
I just I feel like sort of the pressure's off a bit now. I haven't looked at uh, used machinery this afternoon, that's the same. Another thing we need, if we're going to think about, um, I know I'm, I'm sort of going back and forth, but back to timber and doing longer then, because we're going to need a trailer, aren't we? Of which we do not possess at the minute. I mean, like a sort of flatbed. The bill collecting, I'm not sure when we'll do. I I don't think we'll get it in this video because what I'm going to do I'll be putting a time lapse on soon anyway and probably going over the remainder of this field and the majority of field number three so it might be next episode where we get to do the bales what I might actually do is same as usual where I might bale them off camera I'll certainly pick them up off camera. I might bail them as a time lapse right at the beginning of the episode, maybe. And then we'll come back when I'm starting to sell them. That might be a good idea. And then we can just get straight into the field work, can't we? I was going to say, we might also have a... Um, tree ready to sell but we've only got one trailer and we'd need it for both jobs wouldn't we we'll see anyway right I'll put a time lapse on now and we'll come back when we're close to finishing that sorghum field there so I'll not be long
So we are just about done. Got this one square left. And then that will be these two fields done. Hopefully one of the last times we'll see fields with weeds in. Although I did ask, I think it was a couple of episodes ago, it might have even been last episode, I can't remember, it was in that field there, number four. Um, the fast grown crops, which is sorghum and oats, they go straight, I believe, and tells if I'm wrong, they seem to go straight to the sort of medium um, weed growth which renders our weeder useless. So can we use our weeder when we first plant them and it says, because um, it'll say weed and then it'll have next to it uh, brackets weeder won't it? So can we use it then and then will that negate the weeds? Because if it does, then fine, we'll we'll start doing that. Because there's no way we can afford a hole. And off the top of my head, I don't even know if we've got a tractor powerful enough to um, to pull one either. This is awful, this bit, by the way. It's always always bad with stumps around this bit. You'll see it's um, pretty much starting to get dark as well. Oh, oh there's some crop ruined. Didn't even think we were anywhere near. I didn't expect to be up to 100%, to be honest. Stopped looking at that ages ago. Felt like we were, um, we were going up far too slowly to reach capacity. While we're on now, I might as well... If you didn't see... Where are we at? There. So, oats, 4,601 litres we got from the oats. The chickens, can we feed them sorghum as well? Yeah, we can. No, really, we wouldn't want to because sorghum's worth more, but it means if we are stuck, then we're not having to either A, not feed them, or B, spend a fortune on um, a feed from the store. I can't think if there's a, uh, a mod out yet. There's definitely a one for Tamar. I don't know if there's one, if we've got one for um, Chicken Feed yet. We might have, I might have uh, downloaded I just, I can't remember. Over the last few days I've downloaded quite a few but not used any yet. That's a totally lie. I've used the, um, we've got the chicken coop haven't we? That was one of them that we've downloaded recently. Where are we at with that? So the chicken coop, 313. We'll get a load of chickens in the next one, won't we? Next episode. I feel like we haven't done overly much this episode. However, we've been recording for a really long time. I'm going to go and put this back and then I think that's going to be it. We've got our two... We've got trees there for a start. We've got our oat and sorghum field harvested and like I said I'm hoping 
I feel like there's an old farm and a new farm. Hopefully, those are the last two fields of the old farm that we are going to need to do. And then this feels like this represent the new one. But anyway, before we get too philosophical, I'm going to leave it there. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again in the next one.